All right, guys, I got something else for you today, or well, this afternoon. Circuit board, or fiber board, whatever you wanna call it. We're making bills like this for your lures. And I'm gonna show you what I found that will actually cut it pretty good, but you're limited to what you can cut. I mean, you can cut these, and you can do your square bills, but you can't do your coffin bills. So, you can use scissors. Where's my scrap piece at here? You can use scissors, but, I mean, y'all know it, it cuts pretty good, but it also leaves a kind of a rough edge around it. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, you can cut it with a knife and score it and break it. But uh, I got something here you all might like. This is what I'm using to cut my straight cuts. It's just as cheap as you can get. There's a lot better ones. I've had this in probably, I don't know, a good 15 years. Been in the storage, not been using it. This cuts pretty good. I actually got, let me turn it. Let me see if it'll come down. Oh, uh, y'all guys almost fell over. I got an uneven edge here anyway on this one, so I'm gonna cut it, square it up. Like I said, this is the cheapest one you can get. You can get better ones, the heavier duty ones. Like if y'all ever watched that movie called The Punisher, where he pulls this up and kills all them guys. Yeah, that's the one you need. But, it has a nice smooth edge. It even looks factory. And I don't have my speaker on, and I don't know if y'all can even hear me. Uh, let me hook that speaker up right quick. I'll be right back. All right, I got my speaker, or not my speaker, I'm sorry, my microphone hooked up. I hope y'all can hear me now. But what I've done, I've already lost everything. Let me start. I got this, and I've marked it on the tape. I put tape on the ones I needed, and then made a little line. You can see that. So that way I got a fall line. What I don't like about this one is this little safety bar. You can't cut your finger on it, which that kind of, kind of, takes away from the excitement but just line it up I hope I don't screw up on the first cut line it up on that one I mean I ain't got a punch or anything so this works pretty good I can still see the got the lines and all you gotta do is just go right at the edge and it cuts better if it's up closer this one here does like I say, this one's old and wore out like me. And you just go around the edge. So I know a lot of, a lot of these guys are using their bandsaw. But I'll tell you what, this stuff is rough on a bandsaw blade. Almost messed up on that one. But there it is. Now I'll sand this off and show it to you, the finished product. What I use is this off my belt sander I got in other, my other room where I do cut on my wood lures and stuff. But all I do is hit because the power sander is a little tricky doing this because you can overcut really, really quick. So you just do this a couple of times. I ain't gonna get it totally close to the first one. I'm trying to get this video done and we all kind of get an idea. Clean it off. That's not too bad. It still needs a little sanding right around the corner here, just a little bit, but it gives you an idea of different things you use. Scissors work. Metal cut sheet metal shears work. This works better. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.